Hi everyone, welcome back. Hope you all are doing well. Today sharing a very unique, delicious and a super easy snack recipe that's beetroot seek kebab with leftover beetroot curry that I have made the previous day. It's very healthy and tasty recipe which you can make and freeze. Have it as a quick snack or carry it in your lunch box. Hope you like this video. Keep watching. So here I have a leftover beetroot curry which you can see. This I made using moong dal and some basic spices. Gonna use this curry now to make the sea kebabs. For that into a heated pan add in the curry. You can see it has a lot of moisture as I made a semi dry gravy. So we gonna saute this until all moisture gets evaporated. We can keep the flame on medium. Now while this is getting sauteed, to this gonna add 4 boiled potatoes. So mash them and then we are going to add this to the curry. You may try the same process with leftover beetroot sabzi or puriyal too. Now once you added the potatoes, give a good mix. And once it turns dry as you can see here, we are going to transfer it to a plate. And then allow it to cool down completely. As it cools, now to this we are going to add a cup of corn flour. You may also use breadcrumbs if you don't have corn flour. And then add salt if required. Now combine it well until it's well incorporated. Now let this mixture sit in refrigerator for an hour. Then we can proceed in making kebab rolls as this will allow it to set well. It's set well now. So let's form kebab shape. You may also use quivers or just roll as shown. As you have seen, I just added corn flour and salt and didn't add any more spices. Since my curry already had some chilies and other spices into it, I didn't add it more. If you need, you can add more. Now to make it more tasty and healthy, you're gonna coat them in egg as well as rolled oats. You may also use powdered oats if you like. Now just coat the rolls in an egg mixture and then with oats. You may add a pinch of salt and chili flakes in egg and oats mixture if you like. Beetroot will be little soft at this stage, so gently coat them. Once it's coated well, for making it stiff and firm, we're going to freeze them for a couple of hours. It's only after that we get the firm texture. If you directly fry them without freezing, the kebabs will break while frying. So don't skip this step. I'm going to freeze them now. Now let me show you how to fry the kebabs. So here I'm going to shallow fry them. So these are the frozen kebabs as you can see here. So now into a heated pan I had added a little oil and then place the seeks and we are going to fry them till they turn golden and crispy on all sides. As the mixture is already cooked from inside we are just frying the outer layer which hardly takes 3 to 4 minutes. Now fry until it turns golden and crispy on all sides. Flip and shallow fry all the sides. Another tip, after freezing, you may also store the kebabs in an airtight container or a ziplock bag and keep freeze for a month. Whenever required, no need to thaw. Just shallow fry them and enjoy this delicious healthy snack. Once it's well fried as you can see here, transfer it to a plate and enjoy this absolutely healthy and tasty beetroot sea kebabs as evening snack or carry it in your lunch box. It's a wholesome recipe, so do try and I'm sure from kids to adults, everyone will love it. And just look at the texture. It's crispy from outside and soft from inside. Hope you like this simple and easy recipe. So stay tuned with Nisha Taju for many more healthy, unique and time-saving videos. Until then, take care of yourself. Assalamu alaikum. Thanks for watching. Happy cooking. Bye-bye.